We are going to learn today about inverse function. I will use the simplest example that I can think of. So function of x equals 2x. This is an example function of um, gas price in U.S. gas stations. So if the gas price is $2 per gallon, then this function can be used to find total cost of gas that you pay. So for example, if you are filling six gallon of gas in your car, then you are paying two times. Let us substitute X with six and you pay $12. Imagine a situation where you have $12 in your pocket and you don't know how much gas you can buy with $12. So can we use F of X, the same function? No, this X has to be substituted by the number of gallons. You can't input dollar in that. So it turns out that we need an, another function. So let us write the base function, gas price function that I have just written above. So that is 2x. And now we have to convert this function into a function by which we can input the dollar here, dollar amount, and find how many gallons of gas we can buy. So there is a way for doing that. And we, what we're doing now is converting this function in an inverse of it. So to do that, we have to switch this function of x, this whole of function of x with this x. So this function of x is replaced by x and x is replaced by function of x here. Let's do that and see. So x comes on the left-hand side and substitutes function of x. And now you have like two times and this x is replaced by function of x. Sometimes you have, you also be right like y equals 2x. So in that case, you have to, you have to substitute y, y with x. So let, let's see. Now we have to solve for fx to find out the inverse function. So 2 is multiplied with fx. So let's divide by two both sides. So two and two gets canceled. I'm, I'm just flipping, I'm writing function of x to the left-hand side and x over two to the right-hand side. This is an inverse function and inverse functions are written as f inverse, which is a little minus one f, it looks like f raised to minus one. So let us see what, what the problem we had earlier, that we had $12 and we wanted to know how many gallons of gas we can buy with $12. So let us input this $12 and substitute X with that and $12, 12 with this and see whether we get how many gallons of gas we can buy. F inverse one, here I'm in giving 12 as an input and here X is substituted by 12 over two and we found six gallons of gas. Now you can, you can say that, oh, this is so simple. I didn't need this inverse function. Uh, if I have $12 and we know the gas price is uh, $2 per gallon, then I can, we can just divide 12 by two and we can get this six gallons uh, answer. I agree, you don't need to convert inverse function for such simple equations. But if you have the equation that is a little complicated, so let us do one example that is complex and see how inverse function helps us arriving at the solution. So function of x equals 2x squared minus 3. Okay, let us go with the same example. Imagine we give the number of gallons here and we get a total amount. We have to find inverse of that. So let's follow the same rule. The first step is to switch x and function of x. This fx becomes x here and this x becomes function of x. I'm writing two here. x becomes function of x and this raised to two. This whole thing is raised to two and then we have minus three. The next step is solve for f of x. So let's start with this three. Adding three will, we can eliminate. So add three here. This three and this three is gone. 
Let's clean up a little. So we have x plus 3 left hand side equals 2 times function of x squared. So, so now this 2 is multiplied. So easily we can take care of this 2 by dividing both sides. So this 2 and 2 is cancelled. 2 and this side we are left with f of, of x and 2 is still there. To cancel the square, we can do the square root both side. We have to do it both side. So this square root and this raised to 2 gets cancelled. Function of x, the square is gone equals, and this side everything stays, x plus 3 over 2. So we are done with our inverse functions, but we have to write in inverse notation, and inverse notation looks like this. So let us write it, bring this um, f inverse of x to the left hand side. Let's copy everything that we have in our left side to the right side. x plus 3 over 2. This is our inverse function of the function that we started with, which is this one. We uh, switched x and fx, and then we solved for fx, and then we just wrote in function notation. I hope you enjoyed learning how to find inverse function and how to apply it in your day-to-day -day life.